This tutorial covers vital sign changes and clinical states for faster, smoother, on-the-fly operation and more realistic simulation experiences. First, we'll cover the vital signs menu, including making changes and adding vitals to a queue. Then, we'll cover applying a queue over an interval. Last, we'll cover saving a queue as a clinical state and accessing them in the clinical state menu. Let's start by learning about the vital signs menu in Uni3. For easy navigation, vital signs are categorized into groups on the left side. The vitals are presented in one of three formats, quantitative, qualitative, or on and off. To make a change, click a vital sign, then type, move the slider, select from a list, or click the on or off button. Then, choose whether to apply the change immediately, or to add it to a queue. Queued vital sign changes can be applied simultaneously with other changes for more intricate and realistic scenarios. To view the set of queued changes, click the Queue menu on the left. From this menu, you can edit changes or cancel them completely. When you're satisfied with the queue, select a time interval by moving the slider, then press Apply. Next, let's learn about clinical states. Clinical states facilitate management of intricate simulation scenarios by pre-programming multiple vital sign changes. The result is smoother, more lifelike simulations, enhancing their educational value and simplifying operation. First, fill the queue with all the desired vital sign changes for the clinical state, then press the save icon above the queue menu. Give your clinical state a name, health state, and description to help you quickly identify it later. Press save when you are ready to add it to the Uni3 clinical state library. To access clinical states, open the menu on the right. You can see the details you programmed previously by clicking the details icon. When you are ready, set a time interval and press apply to trend the changes.